You guys, I cannot believe this just happened. I lost footage of the video that I'm trying to show you right now. To cut it short, basically I bought a new radiator and some more pieces. Uh, but I didn't want to just jump into the video without updating you guys on what's going on. I just want to say a huge shout out and a huge thank you to everyone who subscribed to my channel. Um, I just hit the 1K the other day. I really appreciate it guys. Thank you so much. And with that being said, roll film. I'm always wearing a black shirt, but that's because I tend to get dirty down here in black shirts to me. My eyes never get dirty. Um, it's not that I wear the same, the same shirt every day because that's gross. Okay, so I'm gonna get some measurements here with my handy dandy trusty caliper. I need to get this measurement from here to the frame of the car. Got roughly 2.5 inches to the bottom surface of the radiator. On the OEM radiator, this tab slides right in. And then you have a bolt that goes right in here. And this peg is also on the OEM radiator, but it's over on this side. And um, it fits like so. On the right side, uh, radiator stay here. Left side, radiator stay here. We're not gonna be using this left side anymore. We're only worried about this right here. So obviously this isn't gonna work. I can't use the OEM ones. Um, thought about flipping it around. I don't like how that looks. So I think we're gonna go custom. So that's why I'm grabbing a few dimensions here. With the handy dandy notebook, what we're gonna be doing is a uh, elevation view. This is like, or the side view as some people might wanna call it. You got these pegs right here, okay? Um, and then I'm gonna call this the frame. All right, so this is radiator. And then there's also uh, I believe frame up here um, So this dimension right here is uh, 2.5 inches roughly Right, and then I need to get this dimension right here Which will be this All right, so we'll get this dimension right now Take the caliper we are zeroed out again and uh, this time we're gonna go from here to here. Let's grab a straight edge. Let's do that. Okay. Let's see if we can get our measurement right here. Just lightly tap it. So we're roughly around, so we're just gonna go with one inch because I'm not really worried about that. Um, so we'll say one inch. Okay, so that gives me an idea of what um, the height differences I need to be at. I'm not too worried about um, th this dimension here, only because uh, what's going to happen is I'm going to have to end up drill, drilling into the body itself to mount the stay. So now we're the next step of the process is to um, come up with a bracket. We know that the surface, top surface of the radiator is offset and lower than the frame, the body frame itself. So now we need to make sure that we come up with a bracket and this is simple stuff guys. Um, if you know how to do basic shapes, we're just gonna do conceptual drawings. So if we blow up this right here, we make this a little bit bigger. Uh, the idea, I believe what I'm gonna do is to make a bracket some sort Okay, and come up just like that. And so that way I don't mess things up. Let's put some lines here, sectional lines, even though it's not a cross section, but it can be used as a cross section. Uh, we'll end up getting a bolt somewhere here. And then obviously this is a uh, where the bushing would have to fit. So there'll be a bushing somewhere in there. So that's the basic shape we're gonna go for. Top view, or our side view, and then if we go down to the top view. Again, conceptual guys here. We're just doing uh, conceptual ideas. Nothing huge. Something like that, right? So, side view, top view, and that'll go right here. 
which will go right here, okay? You see what I'm doing here? Step. I'm thinking for the bottom, if we blew this up, um, bottom piece, it could be as simple as using a standoff of this diameter, which now I have to make sure I get this, this diameter right here. Uh, but if we use a standoff, something like that. Not sure, let's get this, let's get this diameter real quick. So I would imagine all these pegs are the same. Um, so, it's probably millimeters, huh? I work in freedom units, but 11, 11.2, or 0.45, so 7 sixteenths. Slash uh, 0 0.45, somewhere around there. That kind of gives you guys a gist of uh, coming up with like conceptual ideas um, in customization slash fabbing and whatnot. I'm gonna keep figuring out the rest of this stuff because obviously I can't continue on with the radiator as I don't have parts, nor um, do I have a final design yet for what I want to do with these brackets. I will now put some more stuff back together, like the alternator, and um, continue on with this wiring. So I'll let the camera roll and you guys can continue watching that. All right guys, so I'm back and I'm doing some more work on the engine bay. Um, today is actually a new day. I wanted to let you guys know that. Just want to update you guys on what's going on. Um, I got the radiator mocked up and I put those brackets actually down already. Let me go grab the flashlight. All right. So brackets in, right? It's kind of bright. There you go. And on the other side, I have a Z bracket. It's an one, two, three. It's in the shape of a Z or an offset bracket, some may call it. So, uh, what I'm using right now is, I will be using these grommets. Um, you can buy these from a hardware store. So, I don't know if anyone's going to want to do something like this in the future, but right now, this will be the stay. Uh, I'm going to have to drill a hole for the grommet. We are close. We're getting there. Uh, I don't want to keep boring you guys with the stuff that I'm doing because I feel like it's just the same day. It's working on the engine bay, working on the engine bay, working on the engine bay. So I am going to skip through a couple of this stuff and just kind of give you updates on what's going on. Also, I gold reflect the tape wrap from DEI. Um, I wrapped the um, intake piping for the filter. So this is how it's going to sit now. Um, you can see down here, let me grab the flashlight once more. There is... Clearance. You can barely see. There you go. See that? It's very tight. Very, very tight. But I mean, it was tight to begin with. And that's how this whole kit came. Um, which is fine. I mean, the kit's fine. It, it works fine. It runs fine. And no one else has had any issues from what I've, I've heard. But this personally just is just a little project of mine that I want to do. In theory, I think I will be seeing lower intake air temperatures as well as lower engine bay temps because it's not as crowded anymore. However, that's just in theory. I've been wrong before. I have made wrong calculations before. And if that's the case, you know, we'll, we'll fix it. But I wanted to try this out and see if this works. I know the radiator will be fine. Uh, it's just the fan that I want to use. I want to make sure that the radiator's set in place first before I decide to go with a, um, a fan, and I'll show you why also. Grab the flashlight one more time. Designing things and marking things up, um, when you guys do this, you kinda wanna plan this out in your head. If I were to go ahead and just buy a fan that's rated for a good CFM, and it's gonna cool my engine and my, and my cool my uh, radiator, and just give me cool engine coolant temperatures, um, that'd be cool and all, right? <laughs> that'd be cool. That's, I, I didn't mean that, by the way. That would be good, but the problem is, um, you gotta figure out what your constraints are first. So, um, in my case, I didn't have this radiator, and if I were to jump the gun and buy the radiator and the fan, 
there's no way for me to test fit it without actually test fitting all of it together. I'm just dishing out two, three hundred dollars on a, a good fan and a good radiator. Normally return policies are 15 to 30 days. So if this doesn't fit or if I don't have the time to fit this in within that the 15 to 30 days, um, I guess I'm kind of screwed, right? So you don't want to do that. Don't put yourself in that situation. So plan this thing out. So what I did here is make sure I get the radiator set in first, right? And um, we make sure that the radiator set in first because uh, you got to get these hoses in, which by the way, you have to, um, I found out that I had to cut the hoses uh, about two inches each on the upper and the lower. Once you get this in, right, and this radiator is kind of like locked in place, these hoses aren't going to move from where they're at. Now you can determine how much space you're going to have between the radiator hose and the actual radiator itself, or um, in some other cases, it could be like the front motor mount and the radiator itself, um, or even the battery and the radiator itself. So I kind of have been playing and putting everything together. So this is a battery, um, like a little battery like housing case, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I actually had to cut a little bit here because where the overflow tank connects to, it was interfering. But I believe I'm going to be painting this anyways. So that way it's a nice flat black and there's no like fading of any color anywhere. And that'll give me the clearance that I need to get the overflow tank to be over here, which I'm also buying an aftermarket overflow tank. So you kind of get what I'm saying here. I, this flashlight, you know, I should just always have this thing. Uh, you need to figure out what your constraints are as far as like what uh, clearances you're going to need. So as of right now, if I can do this with one hand, yeah. So looking at it, you know, from the face of the radiator to the hose, um, probably around like three inches of clearance, um, and it, and it kind of it kind of tapers further down here. So then you're gonna lose some more clearance. Maybe it's right like two and a half down here, and then two and three quarter, maybe three inches right here. Uh, but most of the time, uh, radiator fans and fans in general are gonna be bulky towards the center of the actual fan itself. And what do I mean by that? So if we look at this OEM, old OEM fan, right? Um, in this case, it's a little different, not really the best explanation, but um, typically you'd see the motor of the fan on the back end of this. Most aftermarket fans are gonna have a bulky um, center housing for the motor. And we're hoping so in this case as well, because that will make it so that the clearance issue is not a problem right here because we have a lot of clearance here. I think about like three and a half to four inches right here. But it's right here that we really got to worry about. When the time comes, I think I'll be fine. Hopefully, because I've been planning all this stuff out in my head. And if it doesn't work out, that means I failed in my planning. But at least what I can do is, since it's one of the last pieces that is going to go in, um, I will still be within that 15, 30 return policy days. Just, just like small things to think about when you're doing your build, um, when you're planning things out, if you're, especially if you're gonna be doing some custom work, try and plan that out. There's my tips and tricks for you guys in your build. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, drill the holes that I need to drill in. I actually took some measurements of where I needed it, kind of mocked it up. What it looked like was something like this, right? So I, I basically what I did was I aligned the screws up first which is why you see those marks. From there, I took a straight edge and I drew a line and then I re-centered it using the hole that's existing on this bracket. I re-centered it and then kind of eyeballed it, you know, boom, right there. So there's gonna be some slop in the holes that I'm gonna drill and you want that. I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll keep the camera on me, you guys can watch me, and I'll be right back. All right, see ya. Okay, so I got those holes drilled, 
and now I actually got to drill them out some more. So I'm going to go to the hardware store and get a either larger bit or one of the hole maker bits. I think it's called a step bit. What I'm doing right now is I kind of just mocked it up and I like how this looks a lot. Um, it's very subtle, but I knew I do need to cut this off right here. So I will be doing that. Um, and I kind of drew it out as best as I could and then I'll take the grinder to it, cut it out and voila, bracket and then I'll paint it and then we'll be done. Um, I'll be back. I gotta go pick up my daughter from my parents' house. So I will continue on later and uh, I'll make sure that I bring you guys with me. All right, so I'll see you guys in a little bit.